I'm done with my stitching and I'm ready to take my fabric off of the frame. The first thing I want to do is make a pass around the bars and retract the bolts. The reason that you do this is so that when you go to take the staples or the tacks out, there's not as much surface tension on them and it's much easier to get them out. So I'm gonna work my way all the way around and when I'm done with that, then I'll show you how to actually take it off, you, whether or not you attached it with the tacks or with staples. Project. And I've already taken out most of the tacks, but I wanna show you how to do that. So when the core jack kit, you actually have a removal tool. It has a handle, which makes it quite handy, has a slight curve to the end of the tool and an indentation in it to fit up underneath the tack. And all you wanna do is put it up under the tack and rock it. And if you do that, you rock it straight up and the tack will come out. Try to rock it as straight up as possible because if you rock it at an angle, you're much better, uh, you stand a much better chance of actually breaking the thumbtacks. Also, when you rock it, don't rock it this from the inside of the canvas. Try to rock it from the side so that most of the pressure is being applied against the wood. The other way you can get the thumbtacks off is to actually pop them. Now, this works with canvas, but not so much with thin earth fabrics. And what you want to do is pull straight up as much as possible. And you want to be careful of that. And that's a good reason why I'm wearing glasses. Be careful of this when you do it. Try to actually hold your thumb over the thumbtack so that it doesn't go flying. Because had I not been wearing my glasses, that would have been my eyeball it would have hit. And trust me, that has happened. Fortunately, I've not actually had my eyes hurt, but it's a little frightening when it happens. Learn from my mistakes. Now, if you used staples, you can use a staple remover. I recommend, this is a Stanley Bostitch staple remover. Um, you can get it at the office supply stores. And it will fit up underneath and you can rock it up. You can't use little pinchy ones. They have, the claws are too thick, so it just doesn't work very well. So what you wanna do is just slide this up underneath the staple and lift it as much as possible and rock it. The other thing I recommend much like uh, making sure that your thumbtacks don't go flying, is do not put your hand in front of this when you're doing this. There is a very good chance that you will slide forward with the tool and you do not want to actually run it into your hand and cut yourself. It's not as sharp as a knife, but it will definitely do some damage. I've removed the fabric and now I need to actually take my frame apart. Easiest way to do that is to use the leverage of the corners. So push down, and let it go all the way together. And when you do that, the two ends will actually come apart on their own. And then the, to get the two middle ones apart, just rock them apart, the opposite of what you did to get them together. Think of it as a little bit of aerobic exercise. I appreciate you joining me today for some information on stretcher bars and particularly on Evertights. I hope you'll join me again in the future. Happy stitching.